Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude, aka Steve, and welcome to another Call of Duty commentary. Hey, I figured I'll, I'll do these probably on a weekly basis, at least for a while, while the, the hype of the new game is still at its precipice. That's the one. Yeah, because Piedmont is like the thing before the mountain starts, and the precipice, of course, is the, the top of it. But, you know, there are things I find myself wanting to talk about without a space to talk about them, and they're not podcast worthy, right? Like, so, some. I mean, I don't know why I would ask that in a question form, but, you know, I don't even know if I have time for a podcast. So I find myself wanting to talk about things, and I don't really have the correct space to do so. So what better than between 8 and, I don't know, 12 minutes of a Call of Duty video to give some of the worst thoughts I could give. And these things are never going to be the most popular of anything I've ever done on the Internet. So it's the perfect little space for those of you who really enjoy my content to learn a little bit more about me or listen to me bitch about things that you would never hear anyone bitch about in regular life anyway. Uh, and furthermore, I... You know, so I pursued stand-up for a bit, and then uh, I was all set and ready to go for 2020 to really kind of pursue it on a bigger level, and then COVID hit, uh, and then clubs closed down, and I, haven't, I didn't really want to do much with, you know, I didn't really want to risk it, because I, I got asthma, and the last thing I want is to fucking die of a debilitating respiratory illness. So you think if I died in my sleep, that'd be, that'd be kind of all right. I mean, it would suck for everybody else, I guess. It gave a shit about me, but for me, you know, I wouldn't fucking know, so I'd rather not have to, you know, suffer. This is getting really morbid. Anyway, so I also want to use these kind of dumb things as like, uh, you know, uh, it's not stand up practice, but just to kind of flesh some bits out and uh, create bits. It's been almost two minutes and there's been absolutely nothing of substance. You got, I can, I can stretch things out all day long. Title of your sex tape. Ah, that'd be a terrible one. I'm never going to watch that. I saw a tweet today from McDonald's, and that tweet said, one day you bought the half meal for the last time, and you didn't even know it. And that reminded me of uh, two things. One, I didn't know that I followed McDonald's on Twitter, so that's a new thing for me. Uh, I guess I did that at some point. They probably did something close... The aim is that. They probably did something closely related to... Or they probably tweeted about something or at somebody that I follow, and I thought this is kind of cool, so I figured I would become a part of their Twitter world. But, and, and two, it reminded me that McDonald's keeps taking away all of my favorite sandwiches. Uh, this was exemplified by the fact that they took away the the, the, the grilled chicken, the grilled chicken snap wrap was gone. It was gone for months. Now, I don't know if it's back yet. Because ever since I heard that, I decided to never go back to McDonald's. Uh, and I'm, there are going to be people that go, Yeah, you, you eat at McDonald's. Why, what's wrong with you? Why don't you, why don't you create a five-course meal every day with only the freshest fruits and vegetables? I assume those are good for you. Uh, but in between my diet of Skittles and Gifts and uh, Monster Energy, I'm not sure I have the space, the space for that kind of food. But uh, So, you know, I used to, yeah, when I used to work not from home anymore. I'd be uh, a McDonald's specialist because there was one right across the street from work and I'd, be, I'd get hungry after work sometimes and I'd go there. And, and, and when I used to drive, you know, be a truck driver for a living, that used to, that used to be a great place to go. It was, it was right there and it was right everywhere. It was literally right everywhere. And uh, I would go there all the time because of that. Now I am in, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say great shape. Uh, I'm not actually my, my metabolism is fast that I legitimately thought I had like thyroid cancer because my metabolism is so fast But I don't have thyroid cancer, so that's good news. I'm just having a really fast metabolism And if I don't eat a lot my body like I lose weight really quickly uh, Being sedentary. I don't really eat as much as I would if I was moving so my body's like you're gonna just we need We need that all the muscle just all, all the muscle you ever gained give me that uh, so they got rid of the snack wrap, but prior to that, McDonald's had removed two of my favorite sandwiches, uh, and honestly, it broke my heart because now they did it again with the, the chicken snack wrap. It, it happened again. The first sandwich that McDonald's got rid of that I loved more than almost life itself was the big and tasty. It was the perfect sandwich. It was not, you know, there wasn't a lot on it, right? So there wasn't, the, the, the actual sandwich part wasn't weighed down by just the mounds of whatever else they decided to put on there. 
it was tomato, it was lettuce, it was burger patty, and it was some kind of mayonnaise type sauce that was good. And that was it. And it was perfect, and it was cheap. It was perfect. They didn't try too hard. Like, you know, the Big Mac, they try so hard. They, like, dice up the lettuce, and they like, yeah, look at us. Look at us trying. And it's like, you know, you don't need to hide that you're not trying McDonald's. It's, you don't need to do that. Uh, and then I remember I was in high school. No, freshman of year of college, I learned McDonald's stopped selling Big and Tasty. Because I'd went to McDonald's near my parents' house when I lived there. And I remember ordering a Big and Tasty at the local McDonald's. And the, this was kind of later at night, too, maybe 10.30 at night. And the girl said, oh, fuck that RC car. The lady did not say fuck that RC car. She didn't. But uh, if she saw that, oh, that was just killing me. The lady there said, uh, we don't you know, we don't make the Big and Tasty anymore. And I said, what? What are, you, what are you talking about? Like, it's the easiest thing to make in the world, and I love it so much. Both of those are reasons why you should continue to serve the Big and Tasty. Uh, but the lady was so moved by my passion for this sandwich that she actually made one. They actually made one for me. And if I could remember her name, I would give her all the credit in the world, but I don't. I do remember, though, uh, that she was not... She was just a manager on duty, but she was not the store manager. So I remember I wrote a, a fantastic review for her to her store manager and I hope that she, I hope that it helped her in a career I hope now maybe she's like the, a board member of some fast of some fast food restaurant uh, partially in part to a promotion that she received because of my glowing review that I gave her all those years ago so maybe it's possible but remember she made that for me uh, but that was the last time I ever had a vegan tasty so actually I didn't know it that was incorrect I, tweet, I tweeted out a joke saying I ordered it and Anymore. I didn't know at that point because it was never going to happen again. So I moved on and I found another favorite sandwich, and that was the Angus Deluxe. Uh, it was it followed the same formula as the Big and Tasty, but I mean there's a little extra stuff to it. They, they had an Angus, it was an Angus beef burger instead of a regular beef burger, I guess. But it was relatively the same kind of formula. It wasn't bogged down by too much extra garbage, um, and it was good. It was my favorite sandwich at the time. And then I remember, again, one day going, it was, it was a different McDonald's at this point because I, I didn't even move. No, I think I still might have lived at home when this happened. And I remember I had said, again, I would like the Angus Deluxe, please. And um, she said, we do not make that anymore. And then uh, I thought that perhaps McDonald's had something against me at that moment in time because not how does one man have two favorite sandwiches at a fast food place and both of those sandwiches were discontinued why is my palate that rare that the things i like no one else does it's possible because again i like skittles dips and i'm the only person ever to like skittles dips from from my limited research no one else likes that so that happened again with a crispy chicken snack wrap and um i guess i did not intend on bitching about McDonald's forever this whole time yet here I am bitching about McDonald's forever this whole time the moral of the story is never like anything never fall in love because you will have your heart broken I hope you guys stick around for another video I'll see you guys next time <laughs> good night